<laughs> yeah, man, I do it for the fam. Trying to put food on my table, going ham. PYT says she knows who I am. Browse on fleek, she'll do it for the gram. Hey, what's going on, guys? So, and I haven't made a video in a long time. So, I'm making a video today, and it's going to be my first coding tutorial. So, we're going to be learning how to make a uh, news feed in C Sharp. Um, so, yeah. I'm going to go ahead and open Visual Studios. Um, okay, so I'm going to make a new project. Uh, just call it whatever you want. I'm just going to call it uh, Newsfeed underscore squirt. Alright, so um, you can mess around with whatever, uh, you know, visual stuff that you want to add. Um, but uh, I'm just going to quickly add a uh, metro framework so we're gonna add the uh, metro forms all right there we go looks nice all right so um after you've uh, done all your designing stuff. Uh, what we're gonna do is we're gonna put in a rich text box. So go ahead and type in rich text box on your toolbox. Um, now you can use this uh, newsfeed for uh, you know whatever purpose you want. If you're updating a tool or um, you know whatever. Um, so yeah. Um, and there's two ways to do it. Uh, I'm going to show you both ways. First way is uh, with pastebin or a type of uh, text paste thing, whatever website, um, which allows you to save your text and stuff like that and uh, view as raw. So, uh, yeah, and the second version is if you own a website and you can upload as FTP, etc. So yep. Um, so we're gonna get into the first bit now. What we need to do now is uh, we're gonna make a, a web client. So go ahead and do that. Oh yeah. Uh, before you do that, we need to be uh, we need to add uh, system dot net because um, obviously we are downloading strings. So yep. Uh, this source to this tool will be in the description, so feel free to download it if you, uh, you know, too lazy to do it yourself. <laughs> um, so if we go over to properties, uh, it's you know it's called Red uh, Rich Textbox One, obviously. So underneath what we just did, we're just going to type uh, Rich Textbox One uh, dot text because obviously we're going to be uh, putting the text in there. And then equals web client dot download string. And then we're gonna put some uh, those little things. I don't really know what they're called. Um, so that's where we're gonna be putting the uh, website link or the uh, pastebin link or whatever. So yeah, I'm gonna be showing you both ways of how to do that. So first of all, you want to go onto Google or uh, your browser, whatever you, uh, you know, use, and you want to type in uh, pastebin.com. So it just comes up automatically. You can make um, an account if you want. Um, I would recommend it, um, but you don't have to. So you're going to go ahead and create a new paste. So you can put whatever you want here. So I'm just going to put, you know, welcome, um paste bin version um you know you can put whatever you want here Ch uh, change log uh you know whatever blah blah, blah. um and then uh, after that you want to go down here to uh, these uh, optional paste settings you want to leave all this stuff there all this stuff at default and you want to come down here to uh, exposure and you want to put it on unlisted 
and then just uh, put a paste name as whatever you want. I'm just going to call it news feed uh, YT. So we're going to go ahead and submit that. Um, now, after you've submitted it, uh, you want to go up here and it's going to say raw right here. Uh, you want to click that and then you want to copy the link. Um, if you copy the link to this instead, um, you're going to get the whole of the source of the web of the of this web page, um, which is obviously not what you want. So you want to copy the link to the uh, raw. Um, and if we just go to view page source, that's what's going to be on your uh, rich text box. So yep, that's what we want. So we're going to go back to uh, um, our project, and we're going to go ahead and paste that in there. So yep, um, if we go ahead and just build it real quick, uh, as you can see, it's working. So it's really, really simple. Um, now I'm going to show you how to make it the other way um, via uh, like a website. If you own a website, then um, yeah, um, there's two ways to do it on the website. You can either make it as a .txt or a .html. It really doesn't matter. But um, you you can't add any uh, HTML HTML references, uh, so like head, body, etc. Um, you're just going to have to keep it as text. Um, so yeah. I'm just going to keep it as a .txt because it really doesn't matter. Um, so yeah, so let's just uh, welcome a website version I can spell. You, know, you can obviously put whatever you want again. Blah, blah, blah. Okay, so we're going to go ahead and save that. So let's save it as um, newsfeed yt, and then we are going to go on to our FTP. Um, actually, I'm not actually logged into the right account, so let me just go ahead and log in right there. Okay, so I'm logged in to my FTP, um, and I'm going to move this over here so I can fit this on the screen. Okay, so we're going to go ahead and drag this txt file into our website directory. Um, so yeah, right here. So let's just go ahead and drop that in there. Alright, so it's there. So let's go back onto Google and squirtmodding.com uh, slash news feed. Uh, yt dot txt I think it was. All right, so yeah. Um, there you go. As you can see, it's exactly the same as pastebin on the raw. It's just uh, it looks a bit more professional, uh, to be honest. So yeah, we're gonna go back to the uh, tool, and I'm actually gonna enter. Uh, I'm gonna add uh, another. Whoops. I'm gonna add another rich text box. Um, so we can have both. The rich text box and uh, I mean the paste bin and the website version. So, yep. Alright, so there we go. Uh, we're just going to get on here and type in rich text box number two dot text equals web client dot download string. And then we're going to paste our link in there. So we go ahead and build the uh, project. And as you can see, there's the uh, paste bin version and there's the website version. Um, now, if you're wanting to change them, uh, this is what I like about it. You can um, you can obviously go on to uh, paste bin and you can just uh, click on edit this paste. And, uh, you know, you can put... Um, Like um, if you have a auto update on your tool, you can put like the tool is updated um, or whatever. Um, yeah, uh, you can actually put something on the rich text box that can uh, it can like see links. Um, so you can add a link to the new download if you don't want to do a uh, auto update for the tool. So yeah, uh, I'm just gonna put you know 
ABC123, um, and then we're gonna submit it. Um, so yeah, we just I just edited it. So now, whenever you um, open the tool again, it's gonna have changed. So yeah, uh, that's pretty much the end of the tutorial. Um, I hope you guys enjoyed it. I'm gonna go ahead and uh, build this. Um, and the link will be in, in the description for this. It's a really, really simple thing to do, but I think it looks really nice on tools. It's a really good thing to add. So yeah, I hope you enjoyed the tu tutorial and uh, peace.